Welcome back everybody, Broadbent here. Today we're going to be going over what are my personal top 6 favourite locations to build in the forest. Now I would like to mention that these locations are in no particular order, I have just put them together, I don't rate them like number 1's the best, number 5's the worst, I've just put them together so you can make your own opinion. So kicking it off with location 1, this will be on the beach in the bottom right hand corner of the map. Now an advantage to building here is you've got a lot of open space, you've got the entire beach to yourself, you won't really have to worry about many cannibals coming after you here, you've got a load of trees right outside your door. You can just chop them facing the beach and they will land on the beach most likely. Not to mention, this is a huge area, like you can build like a small town here. And I also believe this is a spawn location for turtles, so you can get those precious shells for water collectors. Moving on to location 2, this is probably one of the most common places to build, but I'm including it nonetheless. So it's right down at the bottom left hand side of the map where you've got this huge open stretch of land, going out towards this tree. Now an advantage to building here is you've got this rock wall, like is, is a natural wall around your base, so it's really hard for cannibals to get up to you. So all you have to do is really block off the front main entrance to your base, and then you're good. Now a con to building here is definitely getting logs there. Now it may not look that far, and it's honestly not, if there's two of you, then it's going to be easy. It's just as soon as you start chopping down those front trees, you're going to have to go further and further and further back into the forest, and it's just going to get quite time consuming. Now, another important note to mention is you've also got the yacht really close by. So in that really desperate moment when you're having an attack, you can run over and swim over to the yacht, save, and then you're all good because this is a save point on the yacht. Moving on to location 3, we have a very popular area here. This is in the snow biome, and it's the largest lake you can find in the snow biome. This location's quite challenging at first. You'll have to constantly battle the cold, which is not too difficult at the beginning. Just build it like a small base outside the lake, and then move your way in, building a boat, and then a platform, so on and so forth. Now, the cannibals aren't that bad up here. They will progress further and further in the game, but at the beginning you won't be bothered that much, but the more noise you do make, it can get quite chaotic up here. Moving on to the fourth location, this is probably one of the largest areas you're going to get to build in the forest. It's a huge open stretch of land in the mainland near the north. Now I personally consider this a great location because you've got lots of trees very nearby, You've got a constant food supply of wild boars running around near you, and you've also got that extra cliff edge which will act as a defensive wall for you. Now onto the second to last location, we have the largest island in the game. Now I was quite hesitant to include this because getting logs here is going to be a ball ache. You'll have to set up a temporary camp on the mainland and then build the bridge across and then use log sleds. But as soon as you've got that bridge set up and you've got your defences set up, you're not going to be bothered by cannibals once you're on that main island, which is one of the reasons I've included it in this list. You'll also have a fairly large area to build with, so you've got that extra freedom. Moving on to the final location, we have the two rocks in the lake. This can be found in the bottom middle section of the map. Now this is where I'm currently building in my Let's Play. If you want to see this spot in action, click the card in the top right of the screen now. Now an advantage to this straight away you can see is we're building in a lake, so that means that the cannibals are going to have a hard time getting to us. Now one con to building here is you are building very close to a village. Now don't worry, the cannibals aren't really that active around this village. They only really start to increase their attacks when you start putting explosives down. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my first top 5 video. If you enjoyed the video or found the video helpful, remember to hit that like button. And if you enjoyed this content, you will love my later videos, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching everyone, I have been Broadbent, and I will see you in the next episode.